morning, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to My Fierce Wins Radio. We got our girl, Bridget. Hey, man. How are you? So good to see you. Likewise. I'm happy. I'm happy to see you. It's been a while. It has. It's been a while since I've been on stage. In New York, yeah. In New York, yeah. So tell me how the journey's been, because I know, um, Left Rock Nation, that's yes. the last time we, we talked. Yes. Um, it's been an incredible year. Honestly, I've been working on the music. Of course, the stop and start process for the last five years, you know, has been really, really tough. But I mean, this is the first time where I feel really confident in all the music that we have. So I'm excited. I'm excited to share it. And it sounds amazing. I love it. Thank like, you, thank you. Where, what state of mind are you in right now to create so much great music like this? Um, I think I'm just inspired overall by the loves that I've had and the loves that I've lost. And I think mm -hmm. it, I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm at peace with every situation that I've been a part of. So I just think that that's been to my guiding light, I think. It's kind of like, okay, well, there's nothing I can do to change anything that's been in the past. And you know, I don't have the future to look forward to. And I always say I love I love love. So I'm just I'm always, I'm always open and free and just trying to, trying to find my peace of mind. Absolutely. So what, what peace of mind are you in right now, would you say? Um, I think I am... I'm focused. I think I'm more focused now than I've been in a really long time. And I, it's just because I've tuned out the noise. There's no distractions. There's no being a, being a independent and not being a part of the label just allows me to kind of make any decision I want. So all it's all all the creative, all the creative process is really just has to falls on my shoulders, which is a lot of pressure. It's a little scary at times, but at the same token, it's really it's it's all me. And there's something really um, liberating about that. All right. And tell me how that transition is been for you from being, you know, with Rock Nation and now being independent because I know it's not easy. Mm -hmm. I'm an independent artist myself and it's I find struggles all the time. Like, but you got that creative control. Absolutely, absolutely. And I think I think whatever the next situation entails for me, whether it's with a major label or an indie label, I think you know, I have enough confidence and enough knowledge at this point. I think that was the one mistake I, I made in the very beginning was I didn't do enough research. I didn't really seek out all the information and educate myself or enough to make better decisions and you know I was surrounded by people that were also green and, and maybe didn't have all the access to all the information either so it's just you know it's just we were having so much fun it was like right. for five years we all just had such a blast you know what I mean being a part of that that label that conglomerate so you had a great like team yeah. at that time it made yeah. you decide to you know just switch everything up now um I think leaving the label and really wanting, really having a different vision for myself and where I wanted to be and understanding that it, it took more than just a lot of, a lot of effort. I think, for, I think it's, it's really difficult when you are working on a project and you lose sight of the vision and then, and then everybody gets frustrated and distracted and then you, you know, there's no more light at the end of the tunnel. And I think I hit that, I hit that, that wall and I realized I needed to just take a step back, remove myself from, from any situation that was no longer benefiting me and, and really healthy for me. And I think I'm just really happy that I'm Right. And would you say that it's been like, Say. What's that been like? like? Just trying to, you know, figure it out. It's for hard. It's really hard. And, but at the same time, I, I, it was overdue. It was overdue, and I think I waited too long. And I, and I should have, I should have seen, I should have taken the signs that I saw into into more account. And I think being, you know, being as young as I was when I started, and and you know, being the first artist on, on Rock Nation, and really feeling at home there, to, you know, leaving the nest is like, it's, it's, it's petrifying. You don't, right. you don't have anything that's your own, really. I mean, I wasn't able to take any of the music with me, every, they own everything. So it's really been, a re, it's like hitting the reset button, you know what I mean? So it's, it's a gift and a curse, there's beauty in it, but then there's also pain in it. It's very lonely. I think for a couple months I was like, okay, well, you know, let me, let me, maybe I should just, just host on TV and not do music. And then once I started hosting, all the music stuff started to still come back around. So I'm like, okay, well, I can still figure out how to do both and utilize my television platform to, you know, propel me to the next level with my music and, you know, overall just rebuild my confidence. I think my confidence was shot for, for a little bit when I left the label just because I didn't know, I didn't know where I stood right. in most people's eyes. And then as time went on, I got to see how many people really liked me. They really enjoyed, you know, who I was and what my music stood for. And I think that that's, you know, that's, that's the moment of truth. The silver lining for me is always how I'm able to affect someone else and how I'm able to encourage someone else. And I think realizing that after all was said and done with Rock Nation was what, what pushed me to keep going. And I'm glad that you mentioned the fact of like people understanding what your music was because I know we follow each other on Twitter and yes. you probably saw quite yes. enough times where I was like, y'all need to be checking this out on yes. because it's just amazing. And to me, like your music is like, when I listen to uh, car Cocaine Heartbreak, yes. I've never been able to tell you, but that shit, 
resonated. I, it, it resonated. It resonated. I felt that. When you recorded that record, you know, how was that experience for you? That was one of the hardest songs I ever had to sing. Because it was really? so... Well, yeah, because I'm a, I'm a powerful singer. So mm -hmm. to me, it was like, the vocal producer was like, you just got to bring, you got to just scale everything back. Scale back, scale back, scale back. Mm -hmm. And so to still be able to convey that level of emotion without really singing it out was very difficult for me. And I, I mean, it was a, it was a great challenge, but it was it was tough. It was mm -hmm. tough for sure. But that was tough. near and dear, near and dear to my heart, that record. Yeah. Yeah, and it received well from a lot of the fans. Yeah. Were you surprised? No, I wasn't surprised at all. That EP for me was so telling of what my real life became that it it was not a shock to me that so many people gravitated towards the songs. I mean, it was that was my life. It was my life. It was like. I got this person. I'm in love with my friend, and then you know what I mean. It right. was, it was a, it, I was yeah, in a, I mean. a messy debacle for a little bit, but you know, the resolution, the resolution came to be, and then, and then, you know, everything, everything since has been a roller coaster, good and bad. And I, I'm, in, I'm embracing it all because at this point, I don't, I don't have to answer to anybody. It's just, it's about me now. Absolutely. And you mentioned hosting Fuse TV. Let's yeah. talk about that because I was like, oh my gosh, like Bridget's yeah. hosting it. I love yes. it. It's so, it was so cute. It was fun. That was a lot of fun. I really, I think television for me is just another another platform to reach people, and you know, especially people that listen to my music, but also some that may not even know, you know, where where my music is coming from or what it's about. I think it's it's a great platform for me, and I'm just excited. So now the album, when yes. is it coming out? Because I'm dying. This year, end of spring, end of spring, early summer. That's my goal. You promise. I think you promise. We'll have a project. Okay. And, and there's gonna be some tours and some shows. Ooh. Ellen and I are working on some ideas. It's gonna be really, really great. Really so possibly great. a tour when you're I I, I want to say maybe after the summer. We wanna, okay. We're trying to plan something now. Um, myself, her, Tierra Thomas as well, Gabby mm -hmm. Wilson of course. Um, we just we want to we want to bring women to the forefront. You know what I mean? It's really there's not a, enough, and we talked about it last night. I mean, it's it's Black History Month, right? But right. It's, there's not a lot of camaraderie between women of color, especially sure. music. I mean, it, and it's I don't think it's because we don't mess with each other. Mm -hmm. I think it's just that we're so in our own bubble yeah. and in our own lane that we don't pay attention. But I think you know, Elle and I are trying to bridge that gap. And that's the one thing that me and Elle talked about like two years ago, mm -hmm. like you know, female artists doing something yes. on the tour. Yes. And I'm glad to see like that you guys are putting that to motion because I was just like, there's too much dope on the artists, female wise, that are yeah. killing it. Yeah. Gotta throw Luke in there somehow. We gotta throw Luke. If we can't if it's a girls tour, if we can't have Luke. But we could. We, I mean <laughs> Well, Somebody's not feeling well. That's not good. They got sick. Okay. Well, we gotta make it feel better. Hopefully, hopefully Ella's getting up there to perform some. So I'm um, Bridget. Thanks so much for this interview. Again. Yes, Definitely man, appreciate you're welcome. Chatting and seeing Thank you. you so much for the support. I really, Anytime. I really appreciate it. You have you've been a supporter of mine from the very beginning. For real. Oh yeah, it means a lot. Thank so you. So tell everybody where they can find you. Just in case so make sure you follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at I am Bridget Kelly, and make sure you check out BridgetKelly.nyc for everything that you need. Tour dates. All that jazz.